Hey there, uh, Ben here again with voicecode.io. I'm here to show you a couple more cool examples. Um, last time was kind of just some quick editing and simple commands. Uh, this time I'll show you uh, how I move the windows around, how I open drop down menus and that kind of stuff, and then I'll actually code something from scratch so you can see how that would work. Um, let's just jump right into it here. I'll switch into dictation, and here we go. Trinket, window left, window right, window max, drop file, drop edit, randall, sub it, send slam tiny test dot add print, bing camel example test that fails swipe function prend test, rip to brock, test dot equal prend true, comma false, rick sem, dune sem. So you can see there, uh, I had quite a few cool commands in there that did all this formatting and getting everything just right uh, for some nice JavaScript code. Um, it's even more awesome when you use it in um, braceless languages like CoffeeScript and Jade and stuff like that. Um, Ruby is pretty nice. Um, JavaScript works just fine. Um, anything with lots of parentheses and stuff works good. Um, Lisp and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this was just a quick example to show you that you can type something from scratch. Um, I'll get into more details later about what to do when there's words that aren't in the standard English language, like when you want to create variables that are like um, SRC um, for source or, you know, abbreviations and stuff. Um, you'd mainly use that when you're probably editing an existing code base, um, but one of the things that's nice about uh, voice code is it actually allows you to name your variables better, because normally you try to avoid typing, um, but with voice code it actually helps you write better code because you use uh, more descriptive names without it taking longer to type. For example, here this example test that fails. Um, that's very descriptive. If anyone comes in and reads this, they're going to know exactly what it is instead of just naming it something random like fail test or something quick. Um, yeah, and I look forward to doing more and more of these uh, quick tutorials and examples. And check out the site if you're not there or if you are there. Um, and if this is something you um, can definitely see yourself using or if you have some kind of typing related injury um, if possible go ahead and pre-order it um, which will speed up me bringing it being able to um, finish up all the manuals tutorials and all that kind of stuff as well as the online reference guide um, with all the commands and details kind of like API documentation um, yeah, if you pre the more people that pre-order it, the faster that'll be to get it out there for everyone to use. And until next time, take care.